Happy Friday the 13th, DP. I'm Olivia. I'm Ashley. And on this lucky day, we'll be sharing news about the elections for NHS and CSF officers, charges cruiser fundraisers, lounge day in the Greek, and more. DP, DP News starts now. Did the Greek to kick back and relax at lounge day and partake in the beanbag toss. Then after school, cruise over to Panda Express. The Charger Cruisers will be having a fundraiser all day. Make sure to pick up a flyer in B3 to ensure that 20% of sales will go to them. So many charges will be going that it'll be absolute pandemonium. On another note, elections for NHS CSF officers will be taking place this month. If you are interested in running, please stop by the counseling office to pick up an officer nomination form. Forms must be turned in by Friday, May 20th. The election will take place on Wednesday, May 25th during lunch. To run for an NHS CSF office, you must be a member in good standing of either or both NHS and or CSF. You must also be a junior or senior when you take office. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Stone in the counseling office. To Today is the very last day to buy prom tickets at lunch or after school until 4 p.m. Please do not miss your chance to go. I promise you, you'll be having the best time of your life. They will not be sold at the door. However, you will have a chance to buy after prom tickets at Zotos for $20. Prom and after prom attendees only need to have their school ID to enter the events. Make sure to have your card or have a nice picture of it on your phone. See you there. We'd like to send our best wishes to our mock trial team as they compete at the national championships in Idaho for the title of best mock trial team in the U.S. Good luck, guys. Before we go, we'd like to remind everyone attending prom to make safe and responsible choices this weekend. Yesterday, you may have noticed the car by the Greek. This serves as a reminder for the implications of drunk driving. Please stay safe at prom and call a neighbor or a friend for a taxi. Now over to Peter with sports. What's up, TP? This is Peter here with your sports report. Varsity Baseball played Tuesday against Ventura in their search for their fifth straight league title. Baseball won 7-2 on Ventura's field to capture the title. Dylan Kelly started the game giving up two runs and four innings of work. What's up, TP? This is Peter here with your sports report. Varsity Baseball played Tuesday against Ventura in their search for the fifth straight league title. Baseball won 7-2 on Ventura's field to capture the title. Dylan Kelly started the game giving up two runs and four innings of work, and Julian Amador pitched the last three innings giving up no runs. Baseball also had their senior day yesterday against Ventura as well, winning by the same score of 7-2. Freshman Nico Martinez started on the mound giving up one run and two innings of work. Coulter Nisbet crushed a two-run triple to left center field to lead the Charger attack, with Gio Macias also going one for two with two RBIs and two walks. Baseball finished 9-3 overall in league and 19-8 overall in season. Baseball plays in the first round of CIF next Friday at home. Varsity Tennis hosted the Viewpoint Patriots under breezy conditions. In singles, Mason Dosherman took the lone set. In doubles, we took six sets with Vincent Villano and Miles Baldwin, Channel League finalists, losing their only game, losing only one game in their sweep. Ryan and Christian Hodesy took two sets, and Kellen Roberts and Ryan Rennick took the final double set of the day and almost won another competitive set in the first round, but fell seven to five. Tennis is now five and three in league and eleven and seven overall. Softball completed a three-game sweep of Ventura and earned a share of the Channel League softball title with a 15-0 rout uh, at Ventura on Thursday. Sienna Wagner hit a grand slam and drove in six runs in the game, and Jade Sinsko, Maddie Pickett, and Janet Salas added homers as well. Ali Milam tripled in the 16-hit attack, and Maddie Pickett also threw a complete game, two-hit shutout, while also striking out seven batters. The girls finished league with a 10-2 record, and that ties Buena for first place. 
Our girls won the three-game series with Buena and will be the Channel League's number one representative in the CIF playoffs. The playoff draw is Monday, so stay tuned. The Channel League champion volleyball team played Edison in the first round of CIF. The guys unfortunately lost a five-set match against Edison in the first round of the CIF Division I boys volleyball playoffs on Tuesday night in our gym. The scores were 25-21, 22-25, 25-23, 13-25, and 15-7. Eli Wopat put away 16 kills, and Kern Maholtra and Jack Burns added 11 and 10, respectively. Will Parker gave DP outstanding back row defense, but it wasn't enough for the Channel League co-champions to overcome a scrappy Edison team that played good defense and served really tough. The volleyball season is now over, but Dallas Flannery's encouragement and enthusiasm from the bench drove the guys to a great season, and Trey Klopstein can now dunk a basketball with all his hard work. Today, junior Ryan Fidel is heading down to Great Oaks High School with the Tri-County All-Star Wrestling Team to wrestle in the Association Duels, a state duel meet tournament. If you see him, wish him luck this weekend. That's all for your sport, Sports Report, DP. Now over to Scott. Good morning, DP. This is Scott Guttentag reporting from counseling yeah. right now. Right now in your third period classes, if you're a current 9th, 10th, or an 11th grader, your teachers should be handing you out a schedule of the courses that you selected for next year. So hopefully all of you are getting those as we're speaking right now. The first thing we need you to do that's of most important is to please put your counselor's name in the top right hand corner where it says counselor. Then please check to make sure that it is your name that you're checking the schedule for. And then you're looking at the courses that you've selected for next year. For some of you, you may see both courses that you're taking, like econ and government. So although you're having them once each semester, it's noted there that you will have them both on there. So there are a lot of courses listed. Some of you have summer school listed. We will be doing summer school signups for students who have Ds or Fs next week in the counseling office. Your counselors may be calling you in, but we will be signing you up for summer school. Summer school starts on June 14th, and there are two three-week sessions. So please be prepared if you have not been passing your classes to have to take summer school. Some of you have noted that you're taking summer school because you're doing summer school at Santa Barbara City College. If you've signed up for a summer school class at Santa Barbara City College and you got in, and the course that you're taking this summer is listed on this form, like U.S. History, and you're taking U.S. History at City College and it says you're taking AP US History or US History or World History or AP World History and you know you're taking those classes at City College this summer, please note that on this form because we need to drop that class from your course selection because you will not be taking that class with us next year. Some of you may notice that there's a mistake or change, like you've been signed up for a class that you didn't want or you didn't expect to have to take. Make notes on that on the back of the form that we're handing out to you. Some of you may want to know what classes are available to choose from that are still open or why you didn't get a certain class. On the bottom of this form, it talks about certain classes that had some limitations. It also talks about classes that still have availabilities. We were not exactly precise in noting the classes that are dual enrollment. So please take note. Classes like DP News and Computer Graphics are dual enrollment classes, which means that you can earn both college and high school credit for those classes. If you want to know more about dual enrollment classes and all the possibilities, please talk to your counselors. Okay, as far as summer school goes, outside of Dos Pueblos High School, you can also sign up for summer school at San Marcos through the Santa Barbara Ed Foundation. And there are still classes available at Santa Barbara City College. So if you're still interested in taking summer school classes at Santa Barbara City College, that is still an opportunity. Next option, ninth graders mainly. If you are currently in Math 1 or Math 1 Plus Enrichment, there is a new opportunity for you to take a new course that's going to be offered next year called Math 2 Enrichment. There are Math 2 Enrichment forms available with your math teachers and at the counseling office. So Math 2 Enrichment is a new course that wasn't originally available. So if you signed up for Math 2 and you would prefer Math 2 Enrichment, that's fine. If you signed up for Math 2, 3 Compaction and you thought that that may be too fast and what you really wanted was an honors class, then sign up for Math 2 Enrichment. Those forms require that you fill them out, have them signed by your parents, and that you bring them back to us by the end of next week. 
So thank you again. And again, please make sure that you put your counselor's name on the upper right-hand corner. Teachers, please collect all of these forms. These forms are not to go home, students. These forms need to come back to your counselor today. As we finish DP News today, leadership students will be coming around your classroom to pick up all of these forms. Again, we need these forms back. These forms are not to be going home. Thank you, DP, and have a great day. Hey, DP, this is Scotty G reporting on After Prom. Have you bought your After Prom tickets yet, seniors? After Prom is at Zodo's tomorrow night, right after prom. The doors open at 12 o'clock. Seniors, you do not have to go to prom to go to After Prom. However, tickets at the door will be $20, so I suggest that you buy your tickets for After Prom today at lunch or six period or after school outside of the athletics office. So After Prom has some amazing prizes. We will be handing out over 1,300 prizes tomorrow night. So don't miss out on the opportunity to win bicycles, TVs, iPad, there's an iPad Air, there's a Chromebook, there's, more, there's a $500 cash prize, a $200 cash prize. Prizes are being given away all night long. The top prizes will only go to DP seniors and you have to be present to win. So come to After Prom, know that you must be in After Prom by 1.30. So please get there um, and have a great After Prom. And today's winners are McKinley Kovats, Jasmine Lopez, Elijah Fitch, Jennifer Montez, Paul Sigurdsson, Maddie Pickett, Lauren Salisbury, and Vishay Singh. So claim your prizes today at lunch. If you don't claim your prizes today at lunch, they will go back into the pool for everybody else to win. Again, after prom doors open at 12, you must be at after prom by 1.30. And poker players, if you're interested in being claimed the DP World Series of Poker Champion and be crowned with the bracelet that states that you are the 2016 poker champion. Sign up for the poker tournament, and then you have a chance to not only win this bracelet, but also $50 of cash right away at After Prom. Thanks, have a great prom, and have a great After Prom. Take care. Good morning, Chargers. I'm Ann Bailey with the news. Horseplay turned into an altercation between two eighth grade students at Santa Barbara Junior High, resulting in one student cutting the other's arm with a pair of scissors. According to KEYT, Santa, Bar Santa Barbara Police Sergeant Riley Harwood said this episode has been documented as an assault with a deadly weapon and forwarded juvenile probation for review. The act was not gang-related and the two students are facing discipline in accordance with the district policy and the California Education Code. On the note of school violence, hundreds of Silmar High School students gathered for two hours during their classes on Thursday to call for unity and debunk claims that Tuesday's brawl was motivated by race, according to the LA Times. While the exact cause of the fight is still under investigation, factors such as gang tension, race, and the recent prom have been suggested by the students. School officials have talked about plans to deal with the brawl, though some students are left unsatisfied as they demand to be heard in regards to their own concerns. In other news, Black Bear that was wandering between Cathedral Oaks and Winchester Canyon was caught on Wednesday with the help of a tranquilizer. It's currently set to be released in the Los Padres National Forest. That's all for today, DP. I'm Ann Bailey. Have a safe and wonderful weekend. Now over to Sarah with the weather. Happy Friday, Chargers. I'm Sarah here with your weather forecast. Today will not be as warm as yesterday as a weak trough of low pressure moves into our area and sticks around for much of the weekend. Temperatures will drop to about 57 degrees and peak up to about 73 degrees later this afternoon with fog all morning and a bit of sunshine in the afternoon. Tomorrow's temperatures will range from 55 to 70 degrees while Sunday's temperatures will be between 55 and 72 degrees. Meanwhile, the Fort McMurray wildfire in Canada has doubled in size and consumed almost 40,000 acres. Damages and losses according to the initial estimates total about $9 billion in repair costs. What do Italians eat on Friday the 13th? Fettuccine Alfredo. That's all for your weather forecast today, DP. Have a great weekend, and seniors, we'll see you at prom.